Hey guys, what's up? Sebastian aka Sly Cooper 101 here, back with some more Sly 3 Honor Among Thieves for the Sly Collection. Yep, this is part 13 of my Sly 3 LP. So where we last left off, um, we're gonna um, head into this mission right now. Um, I forgot the name of it, wait, hang on. Um, oh yeah, the talk of pirates. And, and we're gonna go ahead and, and meet Black Spot Pete and see if we can uh, talk him out of... Uh, the the treasure that you know he he stole a very long time ago from Dimitri's uncle. So yep, let's do it. Black spot Pete, I've come to talk of treasure. A subject I hear you're familiar with. Treasure. I I shall with the likes of you. Uh, dang, why you had to be so mean? Salt of the earth, that black spot, Pete. If clear to get anywhere with the old coot, we'll need to fool him into thinking that your cantanker is Tim. What happened to Tim anyway? His lieutenants mutinied on the old guy and divided the plunder, including his captain's outfit. This is the only real pirate town left. They must be around here somewhere. You're right. That's Stone Jake. Toughest guy you'll ever meet. He took the eye patch. Hmm. Tough enough to take an anchor dropped on his head? Good plan. That'll do the job, matey. <laughs> Stone Jake has a thing about monkeys. If you whack the palm trees, he's sure to come running. Perfect for luring him under the anchor. Alright, awesome. So yeah, like, we gotta, um, whack these palm trees, um, in order to lure, lure this guy, Stone Jake, into, um, that anchor right there. Wait, hang on, if I can, uh, get a clear view at it. Uh, wait, is it right there? Yeah, right there. Yeah, the, the anchor's gonna be right there. We just gotta, um, lure him under it. Wait, wait, you guys don't see it? Oh, yeah, there it is, it's right there. Yep, under this anchor right here. Now we gotta drop it on his head. You know, to, um, to take him out completely so we can get the eye patch. Yeah, so now, like, um, uh, <clears throat> uh, sadly, Black Spot P won't talk to Sly at all. Uh, he only, uh, talks to his, uh, only partner, Cantankerous Tim. Yeah, l as Bentley said, um, most pirates uh, don't trust outsiders. Um, so, yeah, we, we have to, um, uh, trick, um, Black Spot into thinking that we're cantankerous Tim by dressing exactly as him. So yeah, let's get this eye patch. What? Be that monkey? <laughs> uh, it's so funny that he says that. Oh boy, <laughs> this is like my um my favorite part in the mission. I'm right here. <laughs> Oh, dang it, frick. Wait. Oh, yes. Yep. <laughs> nope, you haven't got me now. Nice work. I've already got a bead on the second lieutenant. He's in motion near the overturned boat. Alright. Oh, yay, some quick loot to pick up. Dang. Oh, the, that was close, though. At least I, um, I still um, took him out and got the eye patch. All right, so time to go for the the next part of the disguise. Yep, on the the second lieutenant. Have to pick up 
pick them off one by one. Shouldn't be a problem. Um, yeah, it won't, won't be too hard. <clears throat> <laughs> Dang, the first guy didn't hear that. What? Dang it. I'm just gonna stay under here for now. Why did I get a feeling that, that the, the first bodyguard might turn his back around? Uh, because he obviously was. <laughs> Alright, you got it. Dang. Sorry I have to do this, my friend, but I got no choice. Oh boy. Alright, you got it. Okay, the the last lieutenant is up there. Alright, time to climb up here. I'm not part of Tim's. Alright, you got it. Okay, yeah, we, we gotta chase this guy down. Yeah, he's got a Tim's hat. Hey, wait up a second. I, I'm, I'm not part of Tim's. I don't even know who Tim is. Yeah. Also, be careful right here, look. <laughs> Sorry, but you didn't hit me. <laughs> I don't even know what a vest means, but all right. You won't take me. Yeah, are you sure of that? <laughs> oh boy. Right, just stop running already, please. <laughs> oh boy, I hope Black Spot P doesn't think of anything suspicious about this. Bullseye. Uh, thank you very much, my friend. Yes. Excellent. You've got the full container of Tim disguise. Head on back to Black Spot Pete and pretend to be his old partner. And remember your pirate accent this time. All right, you got it. I'm even glad that, that I do um have a pirate accent. <laughs> Alright, so yes, we, we got the full cantankerous um, Tim disguise. Um, <clears throat> so time to pretend we are cantankerous Tim and, and talk um, um, <clears throat> a black spot Pete out of um, the, the treasure that he stole from Rame Lusto, you know, uh, Dimitri's uncle, so we can be able to track it down. Alright, um, <clears throat> uh, of course uh, you, you shouldn't um, show up to him again as Sly. Th this is what happens when you do. Alright, sorry. Oh, dang, wait. Excellent. You've got the full container of Tim's disguise. Head on back to Black Spot Pete and pretend to be his old partner. And remember your pirate accent this time. 
Alright, you guys. Wait, I, I, I didn't get to read to you guys on what that description said. It, 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 it had a... It, it, it did have a fine description. Um, oh, well, funny thing to say, you must wear the Kentucky's Tim disguise for Black Swap Pete to talk to you. Arr. <laughs> Alright, you guys. Yeah, sadly, we got no choice but to pretend that we're someone else in order to get this guy to talk to us. Since most pirates, you know, don't even trust outsiders. Yep. Yeah, I guess that that's how uh, most of them are. That, that they're very strict about, you know, strangers and all that stuff. Um, Alright, so here's the disguise. Yep. That was how Black Spot Pete used to look like. Yep. Uh, hopefully, uh, I mean, no, wait, what the heck, not, not Black Swap, you know, that, that was how Cantagoras Tim used to look like. And uh, let's hope that, um, when, if Black Spot Pete ever finds out he wasn't really talking to the real Cantagoras Tim, that he won't be that mad about it. Alright, here we go. You got it. Alright, so pretty much we have a uh, insulting competition to, to do. So, um, yeah, let, let, let's get the show on the road. Alright, so let me show you really quick what happens when you re repeat anything that has been, um, uh, said. You're a parrot-loving, pus-faced cabin boy. Tis already been said, no pirate work is soft but we use an insult. It's a crime before nature. Yeah, so, um, uh, the don't repeat an insult, because um, only a land lover does that. <coughs> Alright, you got it. Uh, and also, uh, this is what happens really quick when, when you don't um, pick an option in time. Wow, really? <laughs> the, if Cantankerous Tim it really is your true partner, then that's not how you're supposed to talk to him. Oh well. Alright, let, let's get this uh, competition going then. Alright, cricket size, um, <laughs> knuckle dragging, that sounds hilarious, like knuckle dragging, um, I'll, I'll go with the whale fart, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wait, uh, sheep brained, um, yellow belly to bag of vomit. Ew, that's so disgusting, but oh well. Um, <clears throat> looks like we got no other choice but to say it. Oh, yeah, you're a sheep brained, yellow bellied bag of vomit. Ah, you swear like a child, you're a marooned barnacle bat. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, this is so funny. You're a bleeding, clam tongued slobber. But <laughs> <laughs> methinks you're a brainless, toothless, cabin boy. 
<laughs> uh, a donkey-eared, uh, a pus-faced, uh, anchorhead. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, stupid, uh, scurvy ridden, uh, waste of skin. Oh my goodness. Oh really? You're a stupid, scurvy ridden, waste of skin. Ah, cantankerous kid, it must be you. Forgive this old sea dog and his sunburned eyes for not recognizing you straight away. I will never make a man of <clears throat> land or sea that could curse half as well. share of the treasure we stole years back from that Rene Lousteau fella. Twas a good haul, that unspeakably wild drunk. <laughs> you and I burying the loot in the belly of Dagger Isle. Oh, and many a year I kept the back to the treasure hidden, safe as a swaddling babe. Arr, then let's have it. High time we dug up our retirement and lived as lords. All right, uh, thanks, I guess. <laughs> oh, finally, we can stop insulting each other, and this conversation is already done. Yes. Woo, we did it. Alright, you got it. Let's get to it then. Alright, so we got missions with Murray and Bentley. So of course, so let, let's start off with uh, Murray. Oh wait, uh, but really quickly, let me see if there's any um, um, power-ups I can purchase. Um, Alright, reduction bomb, fire slam. Oh, dang, I don't got enough. Oh well, it's fine. I gotta get some more coins. <clears throat> Pirate Operation Day 1. Okay, um, Dynamic Duo. Oh, Jolly Boat of Destruction. Alright, let's do it. <laughs> oh boy. Look at this shark. Well, at least it's, uh, dead. Alright, here we go. Let's um, proceed with Jolly Boat of Destruction. Shooting at those rudders, the harbor patrol is sure to 
<laughs> um, yes, uh, thank you very much, my friend. <laughs> All right, you got it. Ah! Dang. Oh, absolutely not. <laughs> yep, you said it. We're working as a team. Yeah, teamwork. Alright, one more to go. Yep, so yeah, they now that these uh um these ships won't, won't be chasing after us. Alright, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. You guys are doing great, but it's time to bump it up a notch. The harbor patrol has arrived. Whoa. They look pretty well armored. <laughs> yeah. Oh, awesome. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Like, I, I didn't, I actually had no idea that, um, <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, th that's basically what happens when when you shoot at them while they still have their armor. So yeah, but make sure you you, you take it off. Yeah. Wow, like, I didn't know like if, if you roll into them hard enough, like you can already take them out with without having to shoot at them with a cannonball. <laughs> wow, I did that twice in a row. Awesome. Yes. Woo! You said it. <laughs> yeah. Not to sound like a wimp, but I vote we dodge their cannonball. Or we can dodge. That works too. Yeah. Oh well, I guess really doesn't matter how you say it. But, but no, it's not about being a wimp. It's it's about um, uh, <clears throat> using the right strategy. Um. Yeah. We we got dodge their cannonballs and continue to shoot at them. I, I think I gotta, um, yeah, I gotta launch so that the cannonball's, like, uh, on the, the ship instead of, like, on the, the side, I think. Oh, shoot. Alright. Oh, boy, it's almost down.
Dang it. Whoa. Oh. Yeah. Aw, oh, dang. Aw, <laughs> oh, come on, Bentley. Why you gotta take it like that? Oh, well. Alright, so here we are. Alright. <clears throat> so, time to go back to the safe house and switch to Bentley. Um, so we can do dynamic duo. Yes, large diamond. Oh shoot, dang it. Whoa, dang. How did he still miss? Ah, uh, he has no loot, but um, I should still get his coins. <laughs> but, but yeah, we, we probably would have been sunk without uh, Murray's rowing. Yeah, he's the, the, the best uh, boat driver ever. Oh yeah, I can also do that too, I, I forgot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, this guy has no loot, but whatever, I'm just gonna switch back to Bentley. <laughs> oh dang, the, the battery's so uh, low. Oh shoot, they, I, I, I pressed that by mistake. Alright, I just plugged in, um, the charger. Alright, let's go to Dynamic Duo, we got this. Oh, yes. Okay, Penelope, I'm in position with your hover spectrometer. I'll launch the device and you scan for metal structures that resemble a safe or chest. Anything the treasure map might be stored in. Roger, Bentley. Let's light the candle. Be still, my heart. She made an obscure NASA reference. Why do the girls always have to go for slides? It's just not fair. I know, right? What was that? <laughs> yeah. The data is coming in. It's tracking the spectrometer's matrix. What matter of which craft is that? Ah, uh, well, best to shoot first and then hold the lever. Dang it. No, we haven't downloaded yet. Ah, oh, the pieces are still intact. disk is shattered, but we can still retrieve the data. But it's broken, and I rig all my gear to self-destruct if anyone tried to take it after a malfunction. The disk will destroy itself if someone tries to pick it up. Aha! Uh -huh. What if we can read the disk's contents before touching it? Yeah. That's it. Use the car to recover all of the data, and then we'll know where to strike inside the skull teeth. Yeah. All right. So um, since I did this um. Nice driving, Penelope. I'm registering a partial download from that portion of the disk. All right. Awesome. 
So yeah, like um, the um, the data disk like has been shattered into seven pieces. So time to collect all those seven pieces uh, to recover the data that we retrieved. Alright, um, I I'll be alright still. Yeah, but I'll, I'll keep in mind about, um, yeah, the, the noise. Um, yeah, that. Um, yeah, I'll keep in mind, like, about that, um, the, um, um, <clears throat> about the, the, yeah, the parts of the disc uh, attracting attention every time it makes a sound, every time when I collect them, but at least I got them all, yes! Alright, so we gotta head over there. Oh, wait, I'm really quick. Let me pickpocket this guy. Wait. Yes, large diamond. Wait, does, does that guy have loot too? Oh yeah, he does. Haha. <laughs> All right. Um. Let, let's just uh. Yeah, let's just head to where we gotta go. Yep. So yeah, we we already finished uh, recovering all seven parts of the. Spectrometer disc. Um, well, this little wee guy is really on it. He must have seen the disc and raised all the bridges to the fort. There's no way in. I've dealt with guys like this before, but they can't really trust their own men, so they always keep an escape route handy. You just have to look around a little. Wow, Sly's really taught you a lot. Sly? We're a team. In case you haven't noticed, I'm the brains of the operation. He's just a field man. Just a field man? Sounds like you're jealous. Well, yeah, I, I wish I wasn't in this chair. I wish I could run on tight ropes, jump on flag poles and all that stuff. But I can't. You can do other stuff. Fly can't rewire a satellite right at you, Toad. Fly can't even spell ASCII. Yeah, he's not the most technical guy. Hey, let's get moving. We won't find the back entrance just standing around. Sorry about that stealing call. Give you a break, Penelope. It's just an expression. Yeah, <laughs> no, no harm done. Alright, so there's a... The, um, the um the backup route that we can use uh, to, to get inside the the skull keep so yeah then now with all um seven uh, parts of the disc uh, recovered we we know exactly where to strike inside skull keep Dang it. So here it is. All right, be very careful. Oh, what? <laughs> wow, whoa. Oh, hey. well, why? <laughs> why? I didn't expect that she would want to come in the water with me too.
Here we are. The door here is locked, but you should be able to bomb the support to that upper walkway. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Let me do that right now. Alright, so here we go. Like, we got, um, like, bombed the, the support, um, you know, holding up these bridges so we can, uh, work our way up. Alright. Here we go. What the heck? But I don't want to hear no more of them. Take a mate, John. Yes, sir. You're now promoted to captain of the guard. Thank you, sir. Double the patrols and keep an eye out. There's a storm blowing in. I'll be just inside marching the prisoners. Call out if you need me. No, sir. I mean... Hi, hi, sir. All right, well, uh, at least he's getting out of the picture, which is a good thing. We can't get inside with these pirates guarding the door. Time for a little swashbuckling. Yeah, you said it. Yep, time to take out these guards. All right, here, um, yeah, let, let me start off by, by um. Uh, putting a, a, yeah, bomb in that guy's pocket. Thing. It's sad that, um, um, <clears throat> it's sad P Penelope cannot even fight and help us out, but whatever, we got this. Ah. Dang. And it's also funny, like, how L L L Lafuy doesn't even notice that his, uh, uh, his guards are being attacked. Not too shabby, Bentley. Not bad at all. Huh. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, that, that guy is out. <laughs> it's funny how they didn't call... That that they did not call Lafui for help. Oh, well. Hmm. Looks like a standard double button latch system. On three, in pilot. One, two, three. Yes. Oh wait, what? Arr, one, two, three. What? Why is it not Arr, working? One, two, three. All right, there we go. Now we did it. This must be it. I've never seen a security chest so thick with traps. I don't know. Looks pretty straightforward. If I had my scanner test, this would be a cinch. Really? Let's head back to the safe house and get your tools. I'd like to stay here if you don't mind and study it some more. Sure, I'll be back in a flash. Yep. Dang, yeah, just be careful. Well, um... I wonder why it was not working those first two times. Oh, well. I've got your spanners and I'm on my way back. Great. But I think I've already got it. Awesome. Whoa. Ah, my eyes! Oh, I just see some kind of sliding dust. Oh no. Dang, another tricky trap. Wow. Uh ne never expected that. Improve 
All right, no, no worries. I'm on my way. I'm coming. All right, so yeah, like um, uh, Penelope cannot even see a thing, so we we gotta go and help her out. Yeah, the um, uh, sadly she she got uh, blinded by a blind trap. Dang, what the heck? Yes. All right, so time to shoot out the the support holding uh the bridges. Yes. I heard the bridge is full, and I'm not sure I can make it back to the safe house blinded like this. I'll make a fur call to the grapple camp speaker. The guards won't think anything of it, and you'll be able to follow the sound back to the safe house. Okay. Just don't get too far away, or I won't hear them. All right, you got it. Uh, okay, so so we we gotta um you know be Penelope's eyes this time by um. Uh, giving her the bird calls um and every time when we make a bird call she'll walk towards us yeah so we, we gotta keep on doing it um until she until we have led her all the way back to the safe house I'm in motion. all right awesome yeah so um th this is um Bentley's a new improved gravel cam with a turret yeah it's the same turret that she uses uh, that Penelope uses on her RC car that's very impressive too. Haha. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you are. I hear ya. Alright, awesome. Don't worry, we're halfway there. We got this. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, but okay. Uh, I'll be like uh, Bentley's uh, uh, bird sounds up. Okay. Yeah, uh, Bentley's uh, bird sounds are really good. Hopefully this is close enough for her to hear. Dang it. On my way. Alright. <laughs> yep, I see you. Yay, fantastic. Okay, that was not a good idea. I'm in motion. Yep, I can see you. All right. Yeah. I'm coming. Yay. That's good. <laughs> yes. Well, at least uh, she's safe and sound. That's all that matters. Woohoo! We did it. Alright, so we, we've unlocked the mission with Sly, which is, uh... Uh, X marks the, the spot. So yeah, n now we're, um, now that, that, that we've gotten the, the map, um, uh, leading to Dagger Island, and we know exactly where, um, the, the treasure of, uh, of Romain Lusteau is that we are prepared to ready um uh, grab a boat and and head um to Dagger Island and, and dig up the treasure and recover um you know Dimitri's uh, uncle's uh, swimsuit and everything and and his uh, yeah his uh, swim gear yep the whole entire swim gear set and while like the 
the the game is still doing the the um the, the sound that the um that normally uh, goes on like while we're using um Bentley's grapple cam or the Banaku cam. Wait. Okay, what the heck? That that didn't make it stop. Oh well. But yeah, but, um, I'm actually gonna have some cut off right here, guys, because um my camera is uh, on its lowest percent and I gotta go charge it. But thank you very much, everybody, for watching part 13 of my Sly 3 LP for the Sly Collection. I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for part 14 where uh, we do X marks the, the spot where we grab a boat and head for Dagger Island and recover um, Dimitri, excuse me, Dimitri's uh, uncle's uh, swim gear. So yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed uh, today's video. Remember to leave a like and subscribe. God bless you all. Jesus Christ loves you and have a blessed day.